Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the third video I have recorded in... Why is it? Oh, wrong button. Duh. This is the third video I have recorded of RPG Maker in less than 24 hours. Well, yeah, less than 24 hours actually. It's unheard of for me to do this many videos, I know, but... If I want to get it done, I gotta, you know, actually work on it when I'm at home. And since I am <laughs> honestly at home right now, I might as well work on it. I do have some severe weather coming in, so this might be a shorter video. I don't know when exactly it's going to hit where I live. So hopefully nothing you know bad happens but if it does it does because mother nature is a a witch and you don't mess with her <laughs> you never mess with mother nature you leave her the heck alone so we're done with the database stuff for now i've said that in the previous video and the last video before that one as well I'm saying it again, we're done with the database stuff for now. There will be more stuff when the mapping stuff is done. When I go to actually do the eventing stuff, that's when we'll do more more, more database stuff. And I might do it soon, sooner before all this stuff. Who knows? But for now, we're done with the database stuff. If you guys don't want to watch the entire process of me drawing maps, I get it. It, it, it can be boring, I'm sure, but it is a process. If you're here to see me code JavaScript, go somewhere else. I'm not coding JavaScript. I have no knowledge in any kind of coding language at all. <clears throat> That's not why I'm doing this. RPG Maker first started out without any kind of coding language built in. And if you don't believe me, look it up yourself. There's RPG Maker 2000, there's RPG Maker, I think even XP did not have any kind of coding language built into it. If you wanted something done, you had to event it and make it work through events. That's how it was when it first started. So, again, if you're here to see me code JavaScript, you're shit out of luck. It ain't happening. I will have to code some of it later to fix a bug that should not be there because the developers are lazy fucks. I'm sorry, I'm saying it now. It's been a bug since, I guess, when the program first started. I don't know. <laughs> or I guess maybe ever since they added in the um, coding stuff. But yeah, it's a bug. And. They need to fix it, a but they won't. Meteorologist Ron Hurst, a new station alert has arrived for your area. And that lets you know that there's severe weather on its way, even though, even though it will go off when there's not, <laughs> there actually is severe weather right now going crazy. And there's like five or six tornado warnings in the severe weather area. That's I checked. Are uh, they confirmed? Who the heck knows? But if they are, hopefully no one gets hurt or worse. So let's, you know, jump into this and this. I want to try to finish this today, honestly. Well, maybe not like decorating these rooms, but drawing these rooms out. And then I will tomorrow start decorating them out and whatnot. Because my day is pretty much set in stone. I'll be pretty much watching the live weather footage on Ryan Hall, y'all's YouTube channel. And honestly, I recommend watching him. He covers 
eight to ten hours or twelve hours of live weather footage, and he's yeah he's way better than your local weatherman that only gets two minutes of coverage at a time, even when there's severe weather. He's phenomenal. No ads at all whatsoever, and yeah, he's he's better than than the trend monkeys that are on TV. <laughs> Way better than they are. And it's sad knowing that too. Like, they go to school, they go in debt, and then they're stuck using, in my opinion, using radar that is worse than what he uses. He's using like a $5 radar, and it has better quality than what you see on TV. And that's, and that's sad. They're, what, what they're using on TV is like $100,000 or more. And the quality of that radar sucks big time. He's using a $5 mobile app on this PC. And it's got way better quality. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty sad knowing that. But it's honestly, like I said, way better coverage than what you'll see on TV. Because versus two minute weather coverage, he's eight to 12 hours of coverage. When the need arises for him to be live on YouTube, he has set parameters for him to go live. And they honestly make sense. I highly recommend Watson Ryan Hall, y'all. Like, yeah, I, I, can, I cannot stress enough how good he is. And if you're wondering, yes, he does actually have professional meteorologists that come in and chime in with actual, true information about the weather. So, he's not a, you know, he, he, he knows his stuff. So, but it's, it's really informative. He, she, he even has, like videos on his YouTube channel and his extra channel where he goes really in depth with stuff that you just you don't normally see from the actual weatherman and I like that you you learn so much more from him than you do from your local news weatherman <laughs> So, again, I cannot stress enough that I highly recommend him. Oh, will that work? Eh. I need to zoom in some here. God, I'm hot. I cannot wait for my AC to kick in. I am just hot as a mother fudger. Hmm. I want this stuff to open so you can get into here. No, no, actually, no. Uh, actually, no. I can have them get into here from over this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I can go ahead and like do that, but then... I don't know, I might redraw this one. I'm not really liking how this one looks so far, but we'll see. I'm gonna zoom in some more. Mostly for my benefit, because I do have severe bad eyesight. I cannot see things far away. So, I mean, I, I could see that, but I wanna get closer for you guys too, so that you can see better. Especially for those on mobile, because I know mobile viewing is, um, yeah. Just gonna leave it there. <laughs> And I think I did mention last video, I did order a new headset and it's a USB headset. So it's not the 3.55 or whatever MM plugin. 
it's an actual like proper USB headset, which is supposedly better. I don't know if it, if it is. I've never used them before. We'll see. And it's supposed to be 7.1 surround sound versus whatever my current 3.55 mm headset is. I don't know what that one has for audio quality. But apparently people prefer USB headsets over the other ones for gaming. Because it's apparently better quality. I don't know if that's true or not, but <clears throat> my USB ports still work. Because, I mean, I'm obviously USB mouse and keyboard. So, and I went ahead and, I, I mean, I had to buy one anyway because I only have two ports in the back and two in the front. Well, and I think the only two in the front are 3.0. I don't have any 3.0s in the back. So, I went ahead and bought a um, USB dock extender, whatever the heck the correct term is. And it's supposed to come with like f three or four USB and like three or four USB-C on it. So, yeah, we'll see how it works. And if it works, I can finally say goodbye to using the PS5 controller for my microphone. <laughs> it would be nice, honestly. It really will. You guys will hopefully have um, better quality audio from my voice as well. Because I'm sure my audio right now sucks big time. Especially with all the background noise in my fridge. And apparently the microphone is um, built-in noise cancellation. And it is, it's also like a plug-and-play. There's no app to download or nothing. You just plug it in and it works. Like a mouse and keyboard. So we'll see. If it works or not. I mean, it was like 35 bucks for, for, the, for the headset. And like another 15 for the USB dock extender from Amazon. So I'm paying 50 bucks in total. Which is a lot cheaper than paying 60 bucks for a <laughs> headset by itself. But it get, it's got good reviews. So if it works, I'll let you guys know and I'll... They're like, hey, this thing works. Go and grab it from Amazon. And it's a brand I've never even heard of. It's like, it's EXGA. So it's like, I guess like an off brand of EVGA, I guess. I don't know. So we'll see how it works. And if it's a bad brand and I bought something that's bad, I don't know it. Eh, whatever. We'll see. <laughs> I'll find out the hard way. It'll be the same scenario of like whenever I started playing Fallout 4 and I had a weapon debris turned on. I was like, why is it crashing for? Oh, didn't know that feature was the reason why. Well, I'll just turn that off. Now it works just fine. Well, I've had a couple of crashes, but that's to be expected from any PC game, honestly, because, you know, reasons. Huh. I'm not really liking the design of this one, but it is what it is. Well, we'll all stick it out. I will stick it out and I will just finish it. I don't give a crap anymore. Who cares? <laughs> now I could do this, but it looks weird. No, I said I would get two then, because then I can like just do that. I would get one here and one here. Yeah, I would get two. I mean, that works. Hmm. Screw it, why not? I'll take it. I don't care. Not, was not my original intention to do this, but whatever. 
I was going to make this one bigger, but, I mean, shoot, two rooms for the price of one? Don't mind if I do, honestly. <laughs> All right. That is done. Mm-hmm. Let's come down here, I think. Yeah. I mean, I still have a lot more to go. I'm getting closer to being done, but... I want to start, like, down here now. I want to zoom in a bit more, and then I want to do this. And then... I want to just, you know, yeah. So let's go from, I guess, like right here and then go over a ways, like to here. Let's go over a ways and then, yes. Oh, crap. Wanted to go up more. I don't know why it got rid of it. That's weird. No. Let's go from like right here. Hmm. Again, if this is completely boring to you and you don't want to watch it, I totally get that. Because I'm just drawing out like random rooms right now. So, I totally understand if you don't want to watch this. But, if I want to finish my game and hopefully get it out there for everyone to enjoy, it's got to be done, right? Now, my audience for my game is going to be quite small, because it's only going to, unfortunately, be in one language, because I have no idea how to, you know, localize things or nothing. But if I knew how to do that, I would for more people to enjoy it. <clears throat> so that is, you know, an unfortunate thing. I have no idea how to how to do that kind of thing properly without pissing people off. And I can't afford to hire anyone to do it. So sure, that does mean my money intake from my game. What money intake there is going to be is going to be extremely dwindled, but that's fine. Like, it ha you know, that's understandable. Like, I, I, I get that. I should have gone out for coffee today, but I didn't. Oh well. And now I don't mean Starbucks or McDonald's or I mean a actual local mom and pop store. One that's actually better than any of those places, in my opinion. And I dare you to prove me wrong. <laughs> Now, I do like Starbucks for their, um, frappuccinos. That's all I like from Starbucks. Anything else? No, I'm good. I'll pass. And I've never had McDonald's coffee before. Well, I've had, I think, a cold brew, but it wasn't mine. I took a sip of it, and it was okay, but nothing to write home about. So... Like, a first alert, Chief Meteorologist Ron Hurst. A new station alert has arrived for your area. 
Well, that's number two since I started recording. I wonder how bad it is now. I guess I should check, but I'm too lazy to. I want to finish this. Do I make it small or do I keep making it? Hmm. Make it bigger, I guess. I can always just, you know, whatever. I can just do this. Hold on. I can do this and then I can bring it back down like so. I can close this off on with a different one. <laughs> yeah, I can close that. Yeah, um, I can close that part off with a different. Actually, no, I can have it go back around and then close it off up there. Oh, shit, okay. You know, that works. I like that idea, actually. Hold on. I can have it go up like this, then over to here somewhere, back up to here, over, down, and back around, back around this way again, and then close it off. Huh. I kind of like that. I mean, it, it'd be like... Hmm, maybe, we'll see. So, up like this, a ways, again. So it's in tandem with that part as well. And then bring it back over to the right a bit. And then back down like so. I can even maybe do this number again. Just keep it in, you know, uniformity. This actually might end up being two instead of one. Yeah, it actually might. Hold on. Because I can have it enter here. Oh no, hold on. I would have to make... Yeah, it actually has potential for that. Then I bring it back this way some more. Back a few more like this, and then I go back up like so. Bring up a bit more. Don't do double wall, because I don't need double wall. And then I can close it off here. No. No, 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 no. If I want potential for it to... be a double one, I need to do this. No. No, 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 it can be a triple. Ooh. So, this is one, this is one, and then this is one as well. Uh, 
And I can easily fix this with a different area. I can fix this over here by just, you know, doing a simple like um, something like so over here. And I'll open up this for being a, another room as well. Same for this. Uh, uh. Oh, excuse me. There. Yeah. Now, now this one's a, th a three. I can close, I can make this one bigger. Yeah. So now, now, right, for now, it's a, it's a double room with potential for a third. Damn, that's awesome. Okay. And I was not even trying to do that either. I love that. That's nice. <laughs> Son of a monkey's uncle. Son of a monkey's biscuit eater. Now we add the 3D layer to it, or well, it makes it look more 3D, but it, it's really not a 3D look. If, <coughs> hmm, I think there is a 3D plugin for MZ, but I don't, I don't know if it's for commercial use or not. If it was for commercial use, I could use it, but, eh. Do I really want to, though? I mean, it would make my game look possibly a ton better, but I don't know. I don't know. If I want to make a game that looks 3D, I can always just use a different engine that has it built in. Like RPG in a box or something similar to that one. But I don't really want to make a 3D game, you know? I'm finally doing this. I've actually considered moving over to RPG in a box because you can actually draw your own assets in that program, which in my opinion, it's freaking amazing. I love that aspect of it. But I'm like, I already know how to use RPG Maker to an extent. There's still some stuff that I don't know how to use. So I will just stick with what I do somewhat know and then maybe move on to something else. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, <clears throat> again, RPG in a box is a cool engine. Getting to draw your own, your own assets. Getting getting to draw your own monsters, however the heck you want them to look. Your own weapon, your own armor, your own treasure chest. You can even draw your own mimic, however the heck you want it to look. That is amazing. I love that. And it's all and it's all voxel based. On that hold on. Is it that one I'm thinking of? Or is it a different one? I, I believe it's RPG in a box. I've not used it yet, but I honestly want to. Yeah, no, it is this one, yeah. It is this one. Yeah, you can literally draw your own stuff in the engine itself. I, I, I really want to try it out, but it's like, do I really want to move on from what I have been using currently to learn a new engine, which honestly to me, this one seems like the best one yet. You can even draw your own NPCs and however the heck you want them to look with their own voxel based editor. 
you can draw your own weapons. Like, I love that aspect of this. Oh, it's finally out of early access. Cool. Uh, you, you can you can edit all of this and make however you want and draw all of this stuff that you see now in the actual editor itself and make it look however you want. That bat, if you wanted that bat to have 20 wings, you can do that, I think, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I, I really want to try it, but it's like, do I really want to move on from what I have now? What I somewhat know better than that one, maybe in the future, if it's still around that far, because it's a cool idea. And I honestly don't mind the whole voxel based either. Like, you know, it would be a a a, a three D voxel based. Where I can get where I can draw my own assets in the program itself, however the heck I want them to look, within reason, of course. Like nothing, nothing, you know, nothing X-rated or whatever, because no thanks. There's enough of those games on Steam already. <laughs> if you want to play those kinds of games, look from on Steam or just. Browse the internet for, for um, adult games. You'll find plenty. <laughs> you will find plenty of them. Some of them are better than others. I have dabbled in a few of them when I was younger. There are a few. I've not played any of the ones on Steam. I I refuse to pay money for those ones. They're like no, no, I'm good. But when I was younger, I did dabble in some of the adult-themed ones. But, you know, I mean, I was I was younger then. You know, we all go through that phase. Well, just the idea of RPG in a box sounds amazing. Like, why can't other engines? allow us to do that to allow us to make our own assets in the engine itself why why do we have to use third party programs to draw or create whatever the heck we want like let us do it inside of the program we're already working in like mm. That is honestly one engine that I really want to try out. There's also another one called SRPG, which <laughs> I've always wanted to make a game that plays like Fire Emblem. I'm a huge fan of Fire Emblem. Not the new ones, but because whatever the hell they've done to the new ones, just no. No, I'll pass. But... The older ones, the ones, no, the one on the GameCube and the one on the Wii. If you've not played those ones, and you've only played the, the current ones, I'm sorry. I'm sorry the current ones are the only ones you've played. They suck big time. I know. Go play the older ones from the GameCube and the Wii and the ones previous. And then just never play another one ever again. I'm saying it now. It's the same for Pokemon. I'm sorry the new ones suck. I'm sorry you're having to go out and catch a freaking ice cream cone as a Pokemon. Pokemon are supposed to be based on animals. Not ice cream cones. Not keychains. Not chandeliers. Not freaking lawnmowers. But animals in real life. They're not supposed to be this... 1,000 foot tall... Fat monstrosity. Known as Gigantamax. 
if you've only played that era, I'm sorry. If you've only played Mega Evolution, I'm sorry. If you've only played the new ones, the Terraform ones, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go back and play something good. Go back and play Pokemon Crystal, which is Johto League and Kanto League in one game. So you will never have to play Pokemon Yellow, Red, or Blue, or whatever how they are. It's all it's two two games in one. And then play Pokemon Emerald. And then play Pokemon Coliseum and Gale of Darkness on the GameCube slash Wii. If your Wii can play GameCube games. If you can find a Wii that plays GameCube games. And if you don't know what a Wii is, look it up. It's a better Switch. Hands down. It's a better Switch. It was what spawned of the Switch. When well, I say the Wii U was, but... The Wii U spawned the... Well, the Wii spawned the Wii U, and then the Wii U is why we have a Switch. And the Switch is complete dog shit. I'm sorry, I'm saying it now. Well, actually, you can probably just find Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff on the, on the internet and play them, but if you can get your actual hands on them and play them legit with a Game Boy Advance or a Game Boy Color or a GameCube or a Wii, do it. Sure, you might spend like a hundred bucks or more per thing, but honestly, it's worth it. Those things are priceless. Those things are priceless. <clears throat> Heck, before... Yeah, actually before it was re-released in the bundle, I had a Super Nintendo game that was worth 60 bucks. But now that it's been re-released, and a, and a new bundle. I'm going to probably say that the price has gone down. I could be wrong though. You never know. The price could have gone up. And it could be worth more. But I highly doubt it. Because now the game is everywhere. You no longer need a Super Nintendo. At all. To play it. So... Yeah, who, who the heck knows? If it's gone up, cool. Am I going to sell it? No. <laughs> I ain't stupid enough to sell that gem. <laughs> I don't care if my Super Nintendo no longer works. Gonna go shorter. Um, I got a great no. My kitty's awake. Oh boy! I heard him scratch my lap my laptop bag. I can make that a room, I guess. Yeah, I can just like do that. And that's a room. And then I can take from here. And I guess make that small area a room as well. And if you guys are curious on what I'm going to do with this cave, I honestly don't really know. I only have the beginning. The beginning is right here. 
This is all I have done. This is all I have, you know, planned. I don't have anything else planned at all. Like, whatsoever. I have no idea where I want the story to go. Besides this right here. So, yeah. <laughs> when I start doing the rest of it, after the drawing phase for X amount of maps that this is going to have, be it 200, 500, 1,000, or even all 2,000 maps, you're going to see the entire process of me thinking of the story while I do the event stuff. Because I don't even have the ending at all. I have no idea how I want my game to end or how I want it to progress for story-wise. I only have the beginning, and that's done. So, <laughs> yeah. I haven't done any storyboarding at all. It's just, you know what? Let's just make a game and see how it goes. Because I'm the kind of person, if I sit here and I try to think of ideas, I draw blanks. I'm the kind of person to where I have to work on it. And that's when ideas come. And if I've not actually mentioned this before, I have actually been working on my own book. I've not worked on it in a few years now because of, well, writer's block or I guess laziness or whatever. But... I just sit there and I type stuff out. I don't think it through. I just type it out. Whatever comes to my head, it makes sense for where the story is going. And I, I type it out. And if I don't like it, I erase it. I don't sit there and I don't... I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that sits there and I and, and think about how I want things to go. Things come to my mind as I'm actually working on something. Now, is that a common thing for people to do? Maybe. I don't know. Ah. Shamu's home. Nice. The tide came in. <laughs> I'm going to hell for that one. Oh, wait. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing else on that one. <laughs> oh, what the hell? We already live in hell. <laughs> We already live in hell. Woo. I think this is a small room. I can close this one off. Make oh, heck yeah, dude. Okay, so I want to draw out I said I wanted to finish this today, but it may not happen. 
with the impending storms of possible doom and destruction. Joy! So I then want to take it from here, go up a ways. Maybe come back over this way, maybe. Make this one a bit bigger. Come back up like so. Yeah, and then close that one off, and then there's another rim. Cool, okay. And then come back from here. I'm gonna have to quit soon, I think, is my mouse arm is starting to, to do its jumpy jittery bullshit and I don't like that. It's making it hard, harder to work on this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not but I can feel it in my arm. <coughs> and if any of you who watch who do watch this content and you happen to watch my other main content it is why I don't use mouse and keyboard when playing games I can do it but it gets very 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 uncomfortable for me I start getting like basically doing this constantly and it gets very hard to control. I blame it on my autism. <laughs> but it's probably not that. But that's what I blame it on. Because I do have autism. In case you guys didn't know. And no, it's not on the bad end of the spectrum. It's on the higher functioning end. If I was on the bad end of the spectrum, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to, I would not be able to do what I'm doing now. I, I, I wouldn't be able to live on my own at all. I, I've, I've seen some pretty severe autism and I am thankful that I have the kind of autism that I do have. Or whatever kind it is. Just a blanket term is what I've been given. But whatever kind I have, I am grateful for it. Uh, how do I want to close that one off? Oh, I think I know. Hold on. No. Well, it's still not closed off. Damn it. Actually, no. No, 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 no. No. I want to include this in with this. So that's just like do that. No, oh crap. If I bring it down like so, now it's included. Yeah, now it's included. Okay, yeah, that works. Now it's one big room, and now it's done. Awesome. All right. Now to do the base of these. Yeah, it's getting hard for me to move the mouse. I'm going to have to quit after this. Well, this is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It shit happens. 
can't control it. It's just, you know, part of my life and I gotta deal with it. So far, the storms are not here, but like I said, with my mouse arm starting to be a freaking asshole, this is where I'm gonna have to quit recording with at least this for now. So, I will try to do more tomorrow and over the weekend, but no guarantees. We'll see, because, you know, the weather and all that stuff. Maybe I'll get hit by a tornado. Who knows? We'll see. But anyways, if you enjoyed the content and you want to see more of RPG Maker or you want to see more original content from... Well, I, don't, I can't really see original content because I'm not doing anything original besides this. But if you want to see some gaming content, feel free to check that out as well. And if you enjoy my that content, feel free to hit the like button on those videos as well. Comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It will help my channel grow. And I will see all of you hopefully next time if I survive these storms. Have a wonderful day.